Hello, welcome to Spirituality Simplified. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have a special episode today where we will be talking to and working with our beautiful moon. So it's a special episode dedicated to this new moon that we actually just had on Sunday, April 11th. So, you know, we do have, of course, a new moon and a full moon each month. And she's so wonderful to work with. A lot of people are already working with the moon, or maybe you have this this feeling or this calling to work with her, and she's amazing. Um, she's really helpful in you know manifesting and clearing and getting in tune with your your own self, your own energies, but also the energies of our beautiful planet and the whole universe and even the multiverse. Right, the moon's very powerful. So, you know, um, I, we do have this every month, of course, and I don't always do a meditation with each new moon, but for this one, it just seemed special to me. It was calling me, um, you know, each week I check in to see what we need to talk about on this podcast. And I definitely had a very clear answer that we need to, to explore this new moon. This just seemed different. It seemed, um, special and it just, it felt worth exploring and doing a special meditation for it. So it's interesting. I had this thought that popped in my mind the other day. You know, we talk a lot about our new earth, right? So that's been a big theme, especially, you know, it's really been a, a big theme the past, you know, 10 years or so, um, that the earth has been ascending into this new dimension that's closer to source, right? And it was, she was officially birthed into this new dimension this year. So I've been talking a lot about this new earth um, and how, you know, we all, all us on this new earth are, you know, energetically in this entirely new dimension. Um, and, and again, it's been raised up that to be closer to source. So with this shift or, you know, ascension, you'll probably hear that term a lot. Um, the energy is completely different and we have a lot more awareness now. Things are coming to the surface and becoming crystal clear both good and bad are revealing themselves. So I explain a lot of this in my spring equinox episode. So if you're interested, you know, feel free to check that out too, if you want to learn more about what's been going on. Um, so, you know, because we are in this new earth energy, we've had to realign our own energies, our own chakras, which are energy centers with her. Um, also, just a side note too, I created a sound healing on my Soul Healing with Ali YouTube channel that aligns each of your chakras with the chakras of the new earth. So definitely, ch you know, check that out if that resonates. Um, so back to this new moon, right? So with this new moon coming up, I just realized, well, you know, the moon is a direct connection to earth. So if earth ascended into a new dimension, so did the moon, right? So if we aligned our chakras and energy field with this new earth, then we need to realign our new energy with the moon, right? And what a perfect time to do that at the new moon. <laughs> so I feel like this new moon is literally a totally new moon that has completely new energy. So for today's episode, I will be guiding you in a meditation to realign your energy with the new moon, new earth energy. But first, I wanted to connect with our amazing and beautiful and powerful moon to channel some messages around this whole concept and talk about what this new moon brings for us and how we can best work with her during this time. So I just want to make a quick note before I read the channeled messages from the moon that you can feel these new moon energies all week. And honestly, these messages are applicable no matter what day or what time of year you listen to this episode. So even, you know, even if you 
listen to this a year later, you're still going to be activated and receive all the benefits and the goodness from this meditation. And again, you know, it's interesting. Let's say you do come across this, you know, a year, two years later, it may be exactly what you need to hear in that moment. You know, divine timing and synchronicities are a beautiful thing. Okay, so let's begin. So here's some channeled messages from the moon. So I asked the moon, you know, did you ascend with the new earth? And if so, why and how can we best work with you during this new moon phase? Yes, I did ascend along with the earth. You are absolutely right on that. My energies had to align when the earth and when the earth rises, I rise. When the new earth falls, I fall. But fortunately, that does not occur often. We are in an ascension period right now. So we are rising together. We work together in harmony. While I may typically be associated with femininity, with this new earth awareness, there is more truth and awareness around my masculine functions as well. And the truth is, I represent both the divine masculine and the divine feminine equally. Just like the dark and bright side of the moon, I too have polarity. I have a North Pole and a South Pole. I have hot and cold, positivity and negativity. My energies are a blend of equally balanced feminine and masculine energies. With the ascension of new earth, new awareness has come into play, and I too am revealing myself in new and different ways. You just have to stop and look up once in a while, and you'll see and feel the subtle differences. I am still here. I am still the same moon you have always known and loved. You just get to see more sides to me than ever before just like you are seeing more sides to your own selves now more than ever. As I reveal new truths, you will start to see new truths within your own selves and your own environments and society as a whole. As I ascended closer to source, I too have become brighter. During the next full moon, take a look and see if you notice how much brighter I am. See, I am the direct reflection of you. Your light is growing brighter and becoming more apparent to yourself and others because you too are closer to source than you have ever been, which means you are even closer to me now. This light is like a magnet drawing you in close, encouraging you to explore the light and spirit within you. This light allows you to see all sides of yourself. See, we all have dark and bright sides. It's during the dark times when we learn most about ourselves and can clearly see and appreciate the light times in our lives. This is why we need this duality in our lives. It's okay to feel good and bad, up and down, left and right, forward and backward. Allow yourself to flex and bend with these changing directions within your own self this month of April. Allow yourself to lean into the discomfort. Face it head on with courage. Explore it with curiosity, not fear. Feel the emotions. I can enhance these emotions for you. Use this time during the new moon when I am in my darkest phase to explore your own shadow side. Don't be afraid. You always have the sun and the bright side of the moon just around the corner. I am always loving and supporting you during these times as well. New moons are typically times of manifesting, but in order to truly manifest, you need to be clear and confident in what you want. With the chaotic energies of this spring, you may be feeling confused. With the ascension of new earth, you may be seeing your life and others around you in a new and different life. 
light, which may also be confusing. You may feel like you don't know who you are anymore, and that's okay. Allow this time during the new moon to explore the chaos and confusion within your own self and all around you so that you can get clear on your truth, who you truly are, what you truly believe, and what you truly want. And remember, I am here with you going through all the same emotions and changes and growth that you are. See, we are both created from the divine and are one. I can help you to find the balance and flow that you need to weather through the chaos, which in turn helps me to find balance and solidify my alignment and connection with the new earth. You are like the yin to my yang, and I the yang to your yin, and vice versa. So I absolutely loved that message from the moon. The moon has a really beautiful, nurturing, motherly energy to me. Um, That's how she comes through to me. She's so positive and uplifting. um, And I just, I love connecting with her. And you can connect with her anytime you wish. And again, these during certain phases, there's great times to connect for certain things. Each phase um, allows for you know different manifesting or clearing or whatever you need to do. So if you're interested, definitely check that out and research a little bit more about that. But it's interesting because everything all makes sense to me now with these messages from our beautiful moon. You know, the message on duality is so interesting and it really explains a lot of the feelings that I've personally been experiencing. I don't, you know, I I don't know about you guys if, you know, you've been experiencing that too, but she talks a lot about our light and shadow sides, just like her own light and dark sides. So A lot of times, you know, we want to shy away from the shadow side, right? Or maybe not acknowledge it or, you know, just pretend like we don't have that. Um, But the cool thing is our shadow side is our teacher. So, you know, sometimes you need to see, sometimes to see the light, you need to see the darkness, right? And another thing I noted, which was really cool, um, this was something I realized after I got this message from the moon. This new moon was on April 11th. So if you take, you know, numerology 11, so that's one plus one equals two. And two in numerology is all about duality and polarity and finding the balance between the two to achieve complete harmony and peace within your own self and with the whole world around you. I was like, wow, that's so powerful. So In response, today's meditation will be centered on connecting your vibration with this higher dimensional moon, which will allow you to balance all the different sides of yourself to achieve complete peace and harmony within your own self, even when it feels like pure chaos all around you. And you'll also connect both with the feminine and masculine qualities of the moon in a new way that will allow you to deepen your connection and relationship with our new earth even further. This will provide you with nurturing and safety, security, strength, and protection as you start to venture out into the world a little bit more this spring. You'll also learn how you can objectively explore your shadow side if you feel called, which will allow you to see and appreciate the light within and all around you. Okay, so before we begin the meditation, I would like to offer just a couple of suggestions on how you can enhance your experience. And again, please feel free to just take what resonates, discard the rest, um, maybe take a couple of these if you feel they resonate or, um, you know, make it your own. This is your meditation. This is your time, your space, your time to just connect with you and your spiritual guidance and this beautiful new moon. So. Um, I 
Um, if you're not watching on YouTube, um, I'm now in my meditation room and I've set up my little table. I have like an altar cloth here. Um, I've got some candles going. And of course, um, I have some crystals that would be great to use. Um, and I checked in and, and using a black and a white crystal to represent the light and dark side of the moon, which um, can help bal balance both sides of your being. So I have chosen uh, black tourmaline. So this is one of my favorite stones. Um, it, it's great for protection and grounding. It absorbs and transmutes you know, all negativity. Um, so it's a really great crystal to use, especially during uh, the new moon, right? Because that's the darkest phase. Um, now, I also have uh, selenite that I would like to use. So this is my white crystal. And selenite is wonderful all the time. I mean, these are some of my standard crystals I use every day. Uh, but selenite is really great for clearing. Um, it's great to help you connect spiritually, to find clarity. Um, it's a great crystal. So I feel like using both of these um, will really help you connect to, you know, both the light and dark sides of the new moon, right? Um, now, a, a couple other crystals. I have a black kyanite that is awesome. This would be also wonderful to use. Um, and also, I have a moonstone. So moonstone is, um, it's a white crystal, but it kind of has this, you can kind of see like a rainbow in certain lights. It's really beautiful. Of course, it's, it's a moonstone. So it's going to be wonderful to work with during any kind of moon meditations. Um, so I wanted to show you those. And also, um, so if we're looking, again, we're, we're looking at duality here. We're looking at polarity. Um, so if you think about before you start a meditation, it's always good practice to kind of clear your space, right? So, you know, you can take sage or do a visualization. I have a Palo Santo stick that I love. Um, it smells so good. And that can help, you know, you can just kind of clear your space and, uh, let's see, I can light it a little bit here. So you can kind of, you know, clear the space before you begin. Oh, it smells so good. I love Palo Santo. And then, um, you know, so that clears out any negative or stagnant energy, right? But when you clear, it's really good to bring back in positivity and light and love and all that goodness. Um, so a way you can do that is to light some incense. So I have lit, uh, lit some sweet incense, such as sandalwood, um, or any kind of smell that you're resonating with. You can also use essential oils like Lang Lang would be a great one. But again, it's all about whatever you're resonating with that day, whatever smells good to you. Maybe you don't want smell at all. Um, but again, it's kind of that, you know, clear and replace with good. So it's that balance right there. Now, also, you think about polarity, you think divine masculine, divine feminine, or yin and yang, right? So you may want to also have something to represent both sides to yourself. Um, so for example, I'm going to hold a, cor a rose quartz in my left hand. And the reason I'm doing it in my left hand is because the left side of your body represents your feminine side. Um, now you can do any kind of symbol or whatever you feel really represents your own femininity. You can put, you know, a flower or some kind of symbol of nurturing, um, fertility. I mean, these are all really great symbols of your divine feminine. I'm also going to hold, I have this really great block of selenite. Um, and this block, it really resonated with me personally, um, to represent my divine masculine side because it's very stable. It's, it's like a, you know, um, it's like a, just a block, <laughs> like foundation stability. That's what that reminds me of. Um, and I'm going to hold that in my right hand because that is the right side of our bodies is our divine masculine side. Um, so again, you can pick whatever object, symbol, whatever 
you feel represents your own masculine side. Um, so again, you can create an altar like I did, which is super simple. I mean, I've got like I got all my crystals that are surrounding me in this beautiful, um, you know, pattern. I've got my candles, my incense. I feel super good and connected and uplifted, high vibrational. Um, but again, you know, if you don't have these, you can always just channel them in. You can think about them, visualize them, or you don't have to do anything at all. Um, so you may want to pause the episode at this time to get yourself and your space prepared if you feel called to do so. And once you have your space feeling good and comfy, um, you know, create a space for you to relax if you want. You know, I'm sitting in Lotus style with, you know, my table and my altar in front of me, but you may want to lay down. Um, you may wish to um, sit in a chair, whatever feels really comfortable for you. Now, um, also, I wanted to make a note that there's going to be some times when you may be receiving messages from your true self or even the moon, possibly. So you may wish to pause the episode, you know, throughout this meditation to journal any messages or thoughts that come into your awareness. So you know, feel free if you want to just run through this the first time, just relaxing and closing your eyes. That's perfect. And then maybe you go back to it and actually kind of do some of the work um, that if you feel called again. This is all very personal experience. So um, let's go ahead and begin. Let's begin this meditation by taking a few deep breaths. Allow your breathing to focus your attention to your physical body. Feel it relaxing and melting into this new earth, connecting with her grounding and loving energy. As you inhale, imagine drawing up New Earth's energy from her core, up through your feet, filling your entire body with her beautiful wisdom and grounding energy. And as you exhale, imagine this light coming out of your crown chakra, extending up to the new moon and continuing all the way up to source. As you inhale again, imagine this light coming back down from source, going down through the new moon, and then back down in your crown chakra, filling your body with divine love. And as you exhale, imagine this light going out through your feet and back down into new earth. As you continue breathing, imagine this cycle of light flowing and breathing in and out, up and down, connecting and aligning you perfectly with source, and the new moon above and new earth below. Feel free to repeat the following mantras as you do this breathing 
and visualization of light energy. I am new earth. I am source. I am the new moon. I am in perfect alignment with new earth, new moon, and source. Now think of something that has been bothering you. Maybe you had a disturbing dream about someone from your past. Maybe you were recently hurt by a friend. Maybe you feel uncertain about a particular situation. Take a moment to recognize and acknowledge this thought of this person, situation, or event. And take note of how this makes you feel. Maybe you feel anxious, sad, guilty, remorseful, resentful, or angry. Feel free to pause the meditation and write these down if you wish. Allow yourself to really feel these emotions without any judgment towards yourself or the other person, situation, or event. Now say, true self, is there something I need to know about this person, situation, event right now? You may receive a message from your true self, letting you know why this person, situation, or event came into your awareness at this time. Allow yourself to receive this information and take note of how that feels to you. Allow yourself to lean into these emotions and this experience. Remember, you are safe and protected to explore right now. Ask your true self any additional questions about this person, situation, or event that you want to know. Now, imagine yourself looking in at this person, situation, or event from an outside observer perspective. Look at it and say, thank you for giving me clarity on what I do and don't want in my life. Thank you for showing me what I don't want in a friend or a partner or what type of situation I don't want to be in. Thank you for showing me my true strength and power. Ask true self, do I need to take further action on this or can I let it go now? You may need to investigate further with your true self to find out 
what you need to learn from this person's situation or event. Remember, our shadow selves are our greatest teachers. Learn from the uncomfortable situations. Take the information needed and then let it go. If you don't need to take further action, then just say thank you. I now let this go for good, which clears all those emotions from your mind, body, and spirit now and forever. It's all about perspective, seeing people, situations, events from a different, higher perspective of truth. You can acknowledge and feel the anger or resentment, but you can also be grateful. This person, situation, or event helped bring more clarity to what is and isn't aligned with your truth. They didn't bring you down. They actually lifted you up because you can now see this from a higher neutral perspective without getting entangled into all the emotions again and going into a downward spiral. It reminds you of your strength and how worthy and self-deserving you are to live the life you want and to be treated the way you deserve. It reminds you of your true power. Remember, you are in charge of your life, no one else's. You get to choose how you react and respond to thoughts, memories, people, situations, and energies. You have free will. Do you feel called to engage or can you just extend gratitude for the awareness, clear any feelings that were triggered, and then move on? Sometimes your soul will urge you to explore the shadow side further, and that's okay. Have faith and courage to face this side when you are ready, of course. Your true self will always let you know. Remember, we all have this duality within us. Sometimes you need to see the dark to see the light. Sometimes you need to connect with your true masculinity to see your true femininity. Sometimes you need to experience true pain to experience true joy. This is the natural order of the world and is intended to help you discover your own truth. It helps to provide new and different perspectives, which can help you to live your life authentically. Just look at it as information and guidance to help you live a beautiful, magical and fulfilled life. As you go about your day, pay attention to these feelings and emotions that come into your awareness and go through these exercises with your true self when you feel called. Each time you explore your own duality, 
you learn more and more about your true self. Listen back to this meditation whenever you need to clear any confusion or to find balance, inner peace, and calm. And know you can always connect with the beautiful moon during any of her phases. Just like the moon, we all go in phases and life seems brighter at certain times than others. But also like the moon, know you are always supported, protected, and directly connected to source and new earth. May you walk in peace, love, harmony, and in your true divine light. Feel free to stay in this space for as long as you need. And when you're ready, wiggle your toes and your fingers. Slowly open your eyes and take a big deep breath in, connecting you back to your physical body and present awareness. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful new moon. I hope these messages and this meditation allows you to flow with the energies of the universe, to find true inner balance and peace as we navigate the wild energies of spring. Let us know how this went for you. I'd love to hear how this meditation was for you. And if you had any ahas or really great experiences. And just a reminder that all the podcast discussions have been moved to my LinkedIn group, Your Soul at Work. And the link to join is in the episode description. Thank you again so much for joining me on this beautiful day. And remember to keep it spiritual, but keep it simple. Thanks, see you next time.